Pisces, it's Melanie from Tarot Alignment. How are you doing today? I'm trying out um, a new camera. And of course, the doggies are barking. They're always barking at the delivery people. So, there we go. Okay, let's see what we got here. All right. What we got here? Um, let me just and I'm sorry. I just did Cancer's reading and I forgot to write down what it was. So I'm sorry. I had to write it in my head before I move on to you. Okay, Pisces. Oh, look. Pisces going. And taking a leap, Pisces and Aries. Maybe you have a friend in the Pisces. Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? What's going on with Pisces, the Sailor Man? Okay, Pisces. Pisces person. What's going on with Pisces person? Queen of Wands. Tell me what's going on with Pisces person. The Hermit. Tell me what's going on with Pisces person. Ace of Swords and the Moon. Pisces energy comes up with that too. Okay, what's going on with Pisces? Tell me what's going on with Pisces. Knight of Cups. Ooh, you're uh, you're offering your love to somebody who you find very sexy. That Queen of Wands. Tell me something about Pisces. Judgment. You're always going through that all the time. That's okay. That's a good thing. The star, Aquarian energy. <coughs> they may have Aquarian in their chart. And the tower. That's that queen of wands again. Wands. Seven of Swords. Okay, so what I have here is that your person is, um, you know, that you have the Queen of Wands, she has, or he, they have, uh, they, them, the Queen of Wands, Ace of Swords, the Moon, and the hermit so they have um, they're being very inspiring is what it, it comes to mind is that they're bringing new ideas to the table and that's why I think there's the moon there is because they're just ideas and they have to be um, thought through and it's um, it's a new direction a new new thought a new way of thinking and because this Queen of Wands is very creative, very intuitive, very down to earth, and can manifest. And I think that's why we have this Ace of Swords, is because there's something new that is coming in that's being manifested. And I think this Queen of Wands is presenting this to you, but it's, you know, you have this um, moon here, so it's really unsure the logistics of it. So there's a deep thought that this person is going through with this new venture. In the meantime, where you're at is that you've got this Knight of Cups, Judgment, the Star. So you think, you're thinking, you know, hey, wow, this person is really cool. 
you know, and with that judgment card, that's you going to your own inner self and saying like, how do I work with this? Because this person meets all and checks all the boxes. How do I get there? You also have this tower and this 10 of, um, 10 of wands. Now the tower can be this judgment like, wow, this fits all the boxes. How do I get, you know, how do I get there? How do I approach this person on a more romantic level? So that tower is you re with a self-realization that how you've gone about things before won't impress this person. That's why you have this tower. This tower is you going, all my tools in my box are not going to, to work on this person to get them to notice me. This is where the work comes in. The work comes in because you've got this this queen of pentacles, you know, you, or queen of swords. So this is only the facts, nothing but the facts, but a very, very loyal companion. And that's the energy that you're taking in. And then see, so you've got the four of pentacles. You're hanging on to your money because you don't want this person to be impressed with money. You want them to be impressed with you. And then here's that choice card, that decision. Okay, so you've analyzed everything about you. You like this person, this person is, you know, holding, you can see yourself collaborating with this person. You know, they're sexy, they're smart, they've got everything. And you're, you're just like, okay, how do I do it? How do I do it? The ways I did it before, no, that's not gonna work anymore. I need to do something different. So here we have the conflict of love, that 10 of cups. Yeah. <sighs> How a story is told is so important. Okay. Tell me something more about Pisces person. Tell me something more about Pisces person. Ooh. They have an eight of swords. They feel a little trapped. I think this person is probably kind of an introvert because we have the Hermit card here and we have the Eight of Swords where they, they get trapped in their emotions. I feel this person is a very big, deep thinker and they, um, they have to be because they're extremely creative and so they go within a lot. Okay. Okay. Tell me something more about Pisces person. 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 They have some kind of conflict. You know, there may be a conflict of interest or something that they have with you, but they want a new start with you. But, and they're just kind of advocating for themselves. Like, you know, and I think they're just, they're trying to teach you that love language. And that's what this conflict is here for you is that in order to get to this love, you have to go through this. And I think you really need to work with this person on how to talk, I guess it's a theme today, on how to talk to one another respectfully, lovingly, caringly, with passion. You know, it could be physical passion or it could be passionate, you know, words and expression. Yeah, being intimate with someone isn't always physical. It's intimacy with words and just sitting on the couch and even saying nothing. So, what's between Pisces and their person? What's between Pisces and their person? What's between Pisces and their person? 
Well, when it's hot, it's hot. You have lovers, okay? And you have ten of swords. So leaving, you know, the past in the past, a new cycle, it's ten. It's new. It's, um, you know, here's a ten, here's a ten, here's a ten, there's a ten. You know, it's 10, 10, 10, 10, 20, 30, 40. Stability. There's four. This is a stable relationship. You know, it's, it's just how to, how to talk to one another. All right, Pisces, I think I'm going to leave it there, and I love you, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Like and share my channel.